Carolina, and we are about to get on the road. Why are we driving across the country? You'll figure that out when it's brighter in the video, but we're about to get on the road right now. Jazzy's driving first, and me, we are not going to stop. I mean, we're going to stop a little bit, but we're going to keep it going. We're going to keep it pushing. Hold on, keep jumping. I am so excited. We about to be your mother freaking Sienna. We going to see Anna Hall. Yeah, we going to see Anna Shapiro. We on the way. Okay. Yeah, so um, let's get this started. Right now we are in Missouri. And we're headed towards... um. Kansas City. Kansas City. We've been on the road for approximately what 12, 12 hours. hours? Maybe a little more than 12 hours. No, no, 12 hours because it's 8:45. We got on the road last night around um 8:30ish, 9ish. And um we've been pushing it non-stop. Um we've been taking turns driving in increments of 4 hours in um we have a cooler in the back with like, you know, snacks, water and stuff like that. But we've been stopping to eat whenever we um whenever we get hungry. I think last night we just got something quick because we was like we really wanted to get on the road, so we just stopped up by McDonald's really quick and got um you know, a small little sandwich and fry and some drinks. And um then we smunched on apples and grapes last night. Oh, sorry guys, can you see me? Um, and now we're about to head to get some breakfast. Ideally, we want Chick-fil-A, so we are looking for that on those signs as we um are passing by. So, let me tell you guys why we're driving across the country. First of all, we're driving to Seattle, Washington. Um, we're flying back, so... We're only doing this once. We are only driving now once, all right? Um, our friend is in the Army, and she lives on the uh, base in Tacoma, uh, Washington. And um, she was about to have her car shipped from North Carolina in Fayetteville all the way to Washington. And I know someone who's done that before. And it ran them about $1,200. So I was like, ooh, it's going to cost you um, a pretty penny. She was like, yeah, I know. And then that's when uh, my bestie over here, you know, we were having a sleepover. And uh, we were on FaceTime with her. And then she goes, we'll do it. We'll do it. Don't you shut that car. We're going to do it. And, uh. Here we are. <laughs> Three weeks later, do it. <laughs> we're doing it. We keep our word. Um, we're making it happen. Moral of the story is, think before you talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But this has been a really cool experience. I'm excited. It's daytime now, so I can uh, film more of, you know, what we're seeing and stuff like that. Um, if you guys do anything like this, um, we can throw in some tips and uh, some of our experiences um, from what we learned, what we're experiencing and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm so excited. I can't wait for you guys to see, you know, when we actually get there and stuff like that and, you know, more of this journey. So, all right, guys, stay tuned. Okay, so we found a Chick-fil-A, but it is like literally freezing out here. Like, had to throw on a big coat. It is like freezing. I really underestimated how cold it was gonna be, but we found a Chick-fil-A. We are in Omaha. Omaha. We are 
in Omaha and it's 2:12. We're going off of our North Carolina time though, so we can stick up with our uh, with our drive times. So um, yeah, but um, we just stopped by uh, Arby's and got some sliders and some milkshakes. Um, I got s'mores and Jazzy got chocolate. Mm -hmm. And we really wanted salads from Chick-fil-A or Zaxby's, but it's a food desert out here. Like, it's a, literally a food desert. Um, It's hardly anything to eat. So we're just settling for more fatty foods, but that's all right. That's all right, because we've been doing, oh, and we've been doing a good job on the budget too. Like, we originally planned to be spending, what, $8 a piece on each meal, which is really not bad when you're talking about drive through food. Um, but we've only been spending like six each. So, and then we have snacks in the back, grapes, apples, Cheez-Its, water, coffee. We're actually doing really good. We're doing good time-wise, you know. We're not exhausted. We're fine. We've been catching up on sleep. We've been talking, you know. Yeah, we watching movies, watching shows, like, we've been, Jazzy got a little souvenir. We are doing good, y'all. Um, only thing is, we really wanted to see windmills, and we saw two from, a, three from a distance, and we wanted to get out and take a picture with it. We, it wasn't close enough for us to do that, so that's the only thing that sucked. But yeah, um, this is where we're at. I'll update you guys when we get to the next point. We are in South Dakota. Ooh, it's so cool. We're getting some gas and we got Abby a snow globe for her snow globe collection. And let me tell you guys, it's out here. It stinks so bad. It smells like animals. I don't know what animal it smells like, but it smells like poopy. And it's cold. It's nice. Let me get my gimmick here. Oh, it was 8.30. Oh, it was 8.30. Oh, 
already there. No one was there. Like, we literally just got a parking spot, walked through the gates, saw all the boys posted up, you know, got our photos with them. I'll insert some in there. But it was so fun. Um, it was totally worth it. But yeah, that's just a little update as far as where we are. did not know where they were at we didn't know where we were at <laughs> but um so we are actually headed to the car right now we are going to pre-game i don't know if i have young subscribers so y'all probably don't know what that means but um this way, yes. this way. so we're gonna get our adult drink from the car we're gonna pre-game then we're gonna head to seattle and then um yeah you guys will see what we're doing from then on out. Right. It's Seattle! Oh and we're God. looking for food, so somebody oh give us a suggestion! We're hungry! have something really important to share with you guys that happened during our trip across the country. Jazz and I just feel it's important to share this with you guys because if you guys decide to take a trip like this then you should probably consider. But um, Jazz and I were actually followed by um, this mysterious truck while we were, um, I believe we're in Omaha and um, we noticed that the truck was following us after we did a series of um, things to see if he was and he absolutely was so um it started off when we were it was uh it was late at night I think it was like 11 o'clock at night and we actually were at a gas station and Jazz was pumping gas and um I was um no 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 it happened when we were at a it happened when we were at a gas station Jazz was um actually um brushing her teeth outside the car and I was pumping gas and um when Jazz was getting back into the car she told me that um there was a car parked in the back of the gas station and he had his lights on she said be careful Ash that car's lights on and someone in there's someone in there and he's looking a little um 
he's looking a little sketch so just be careful and hurry up and get back in the car when you finish pumping gas and I said okay so um I looked back at him and then I um went back to pumping gas so while I was pumping gas I looked back at him again like uh let's see 30 seconds to a minute later and he had turned his lights off so um it freaked me out a little bit so I was like, okay I'm gonna hurry up and get back in the car I'm gonna get back on the road so um that's exactly what I did jazz was in the car I was in the car um we took off and we got back on the road okay so um I'd say we're about four minutes up the road and I noticed that this car, this truck is behind us and the truck is like, has its high beams on. He's like flashing his high beams. And I'm like, what is going on? It's freaking me out. And I'm thinking, oh, we might've left our gas thing open. So I'm like looking in my rear view mirror to see if the gas thing is open and it's not open. And um, I was okay, well, let me slow down. So um, the guy turned his lights off and we turned his um, high beams off. I noticed that it was the same truck that was at the gas station and I was freaking out and I was okay well maybe he's not following us maybe he's we're all just going to the same place so I was like I'm just gonna like try to slow down a little bit um just so he can like pass me or something like that so I slowed down and I noticed that he slowed down and I saw that was weird so I woke Jazz up and I was like Jazz Jazz um I was like this car's following us I'm getting freaked out because it's the same car I was at the gas station at this point it's been about five minutes and then um she goes okay actually whenever someone is like riding on you like that you're always supposed to slow down I said I did I slowed down and then so she was like, okay, we'll do it again. I guess she wanted to see it. So I slowed down and then the truck ended up coming like really close to us. There was nobody beside us. He could have easily passed us, but he was like really, he was like behind us. He was like 10 feet behind us. Okay. Like purposefully following us. Okay. I started freaking out. So I started going really slow. He started going really slow. Started going really fast. He started going really fast. I switched lanes. He switched lanes. So I was like, you know what? I'm getting behind the 18 wheeler. Got behind the 18 wheeler. He got he got behind the 18 wheeler. That's how we knew for sure that he was following us. So Jasmine called the cops and um uh, she told them, you know, what kind of car we were in. Um, we could not get his tags because he was behind us. Like, he was staying behind us, even to the point where we were going extremely slow, awkwardly slow, like 40 miles per hour slow, and he was still behind us. So, we couldn't get his tags. All we could do was explain the car to the cops. So, they said that they were going to send somebody out there. Um, they would say it was really helpful. We can get his tags. So, what we did is, um, we started going really slow and we kind of forced him to pass us because we got to the point where we were amongst other cars so we forced him to pass us by getting behind another car and he finally went around and then so um that's when we had kind of got behind him wait no when he was passing us he got beside us and he literally went our pace like he went the same speed we were going so it it could be noticeable that he was following us and that he wanted us to see the type of car he was in okay so um we're like trying to look but not really because his windows are tinted so it's not like we we can we didn't even know what he looked like i just started slowing down forced him to go um faster than us um so he started going really fast that's when i was like wait we gotta get the tags so i tried to get back i tried to go behind him like fast i tried to go fast behind him and then um we ended up not getting the tags because his light was so dim like it's like he didn't want no one to see his tags oh my goodness i decided but what we did in this we called the cops we informed the cops of what the car looked like the car the type of car that we were in and then we just informed them what was going on we told them where we was at we told them all the signs we were at we looked at the gps we let them know where we was at what road we were on and the road that we were on was like 200 we're 200 miles for the road so we we're going to be on that road for a while so um and we also we stayed with other cars to keep ourselves safe, we just stayed with other cars. We sent our locations to our moms, our boyfriends, and everything. We made sure everyone knew where we were at just in case. We described the car to them. We got pictures of the car. We couldn't get the tags, but we did get pictures of the car. We sent that out to everybody, and we just let them know. But we made sure that we stayed with other cars. And then um, that car eventually had went off somewhere else. But that's something that we really wanted to tell you guys that happened through to us on the trip we were extremely scared we made sure that we were on facetime i was on facetime with two people on my phone and then jasmine was on the couch with her phone and um so please consider this if you're going to go on a trip um that people 
might just follow you um make sure you call the cops don't hesitate do not get out of your car do not get out of your car do stay with other cars don't pull over don't do any of that just keep it going make sure you got gas in your car all the freaking time okay if we would have ran out of gas that probably would have been bad because there are literally no lights on the road okay we are no longer in the city at this point when you're traveling across and you're in the midwest there are no street lights okay so if you stop on the road if your battery dies or something like that it's pitch black all right so this i'm just being serious me and jasmine really wanted to tell you guys this i hope the video was fun for you guys to see i look crazy right now i'm sorry but i really just had to get this video this part out to tell you guys okay so but um yeah if you guys are traveling cross country i hope you have a great time just please remember this tip i hope you guys have a good time thank you for watching the video jasmine and i love you guys so much don't forget to subscribe and i'll have new videos coming out soon all right guys bye